Hi folks. I'm sure many of you already know about this and especially the folks at O'Cedar, the inventor of the angled broom. You know, I like this broom, but I also hate it because you just can't lean it up against anything without it tipping over. Or can you? My friend Jeff Martin explains. Hello folks, well you know here we are and this is Jeff Martin, my great uh, friend Winston51249 on the internet. He, he showed me something that I cannot believe. What, what do we got here, Jeff? This is a regular kitchen broom, angled kitchen broom. And we had a bunch of corner sweep up here, but <laughs> anyway, due to what they say, Venus and Jupiter being lined up three degrees off. Hmm, I think it's got more to do with Uranus. You set your broom and it'll stand by itself. My gosh, that is simply amazing. And the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing and that is standing there all by itself. No joke. Okay, that is amazing. That no, is no amazing. No strings attached to anything. If it was, we're going to tie it to. Well, a sky hook. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's got a sky hook, uh -huh. huh? Well, that's amazing, Jeff. Okay, for you non believers, set it on top of that table there. a little breezy oh my gosh look at that I would have never have believed that Jeff <laughs> never in a million years and look you can see the wind over there blowing you look at the fan it's standing here all by itself Okay, I'm a believer, man. <laughs> okay, I gotta try it myself, guys. Lined up with the moon. <laughs> I'll be gone. <laughs> You know, after seeing these pictures from Jeff's phone, maybe you want to go down and check it out too. This is the Alley 7. And I'm going to go into the local Sibley Ace Hardware and see if it works. hardware. Let's see here. <laughs> he left these standing in the store. Who's going to discover them? I don't know. Probably Jason. He'll know who did it when he sees them. <laughs> You know, the knockoffs look like they have a different angle. Let's go in and see if that works just as well. Remember, Jeff said something about angles and the moon and three degrees and Jupiter. I always hated these brooms because they won't stand up, you know? So mine work better when I aim them. Uh, east and west. Oh, you're, oh, you're doing that. You're going to be famous. Right. <laughs> now say that again. <laughs> what? what? Wait a minute. How come nobody ever wants to say it again? You know. Look, what do you think of this? This is your store. 
It has to be, I think, east and west. There we go. I hate these brooms. They never stand up at home. Oh, they fall up. I mean, what are you talking about? If I'd have known all that of these years, I'd have just lay them up against the wall like this. Well, I think the thing works on the same principle as this little thing that I made for science fair project uh, when I was a kid. Uh, you know, you could never balance this on your finger, no matter what. By shifting the center of gravity via leverage, you can see that the change in gravitational alignment could be useful. Add something like a belt and bingo. It will now balance on your finger just fine. Yeah, this CG shift I think is what's going on with the brooms. Well, I heard she liked getting dirty and he was swept away so asked her to marry him. But in the end, she left the wedding and left the poor broom standing all alone. Thanks for watching Mr. Herbert's Science Class and please stay tuned for the next episode.